Now in A9, we are given a non-real complex number. That is a number of the form A plus iota B where B is unequal to 0. And Fz is Z to the power 2, 2, 2 plus 1 upon Z to the power 2, 2, 2. Now the statement 33 is if mod of Z is 1, then Fz must be real. So if mod of Z is 1, then Z is basically e to the power iota theta. Then in that case, Fz will be e to the power iota 2, 2, 2 theta plus 1 upon e to the power iota 2, 2, 2 theta, which is e to the power iota 2, 2, 2 theta plus e to the power minus iota 2, 2, 2 theta using Euler's formula sine part will cancel. So it will be equal to 2 cos 2, 2, 2 theta, which is a real number. That means the statement 33 is correct. Now in statement 34, we have z plus 1 upon z equals 1. Now we can write this as z square minus z plus 1 equals 0 or z is 1 plus minus under root of 1 minus 4 minus root 3 upon 2 or this is 1 plus minus root 3 out upon 2. So basically we have minus omega and minus omega square where omega and omega square are complex cube root of unity or non-real complex cube root of unity. Now if we find fz, fz will be minus omega to the power 2, 2, 2 plus 1 upon minus omega to the power 2, 2, 2. Now it's an even number and it's a multiple of 3. So this value will be 1 plus 1 which is 2 and the result will be same for minus omega square also. That means the statement 34 is also correct. Now this 35 is if z plus 1 upon z is real then mod of fz is less than or equal to 2. So we are given that z plus 1 upon z it is a real number. Now suppose z is r into e to the power iota theta. So we can write r e to the power iota theta plus 1 upon r e to the power iota theta. So it will be this r e to the power iota theta plus 1 upon r e to the power minus iota theta. Now we can write this as r plus 1 upon r cos theta plus iota r minus 1 upon r sin theta. Now if this is purely real then basically this part it must be 0 and if it is 0 then either r is 1 or sin theta is 0 but sin theta cannot be 0 as in the question it says it is not purely real. Now when r is 1 we can write fz as e to the power 2 2 2 iota theta plus 1 upon e to the power 2 2 2 iota theta. So it will be this 2 cos 2 2 2 theta which is less than or equal to 2. That means the statement 35 is also correct. Now 36 is if fz is a real number then fz must be positive. Now if we write fz fz is z to the power 2 2 2 plus 1 upon z to the power 2 2 2. Now we take z as r into e to the power iota theta. So it will be r to the power 2 2 2 e to the power iota 2 2 2 theta and plus 1 upon r to the power 2 2 2 and e to the power iota 2 2 2 theta. Now we can write this as r to the power 2 2 2 plus 1 upon r to the power 2 2 2 theta cos 2 2 2 theta plus iota and this is r to the power 2 2 2 theta minus 1 upon r to the power 2 2 2 into sin 2 2 2 theta. Now it says fz is a real number. Now it will be real if this is 0 and if we put it equals to 0 then either value of r is 1 or value of sine 2 2 2 theta will be 0. 
if we take r as 1 we'll get this as 2 cos 2 to 2 theta and this cosine expression it can be positive or it can be negative and also if we take sine 2 to 2 theta as 0 then this cos 2 to 2 theta it can be either plus 1 or minus 1 so this fz it may be negative and it may be positive so this statement 36 is not always correct that means it is incorrect